All right. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's a gift from uh, patron saint Jason Chow. However, remember he's also a rep. So he's a, a, a okay, so. Patron rep. Okay, Rex, Daniel. Jason Chow, you patron saint of crickets. Chirp, chirp, ding, chirp, it's chirp, 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 chirp. Sure. So what I what I appreciate, he's not one of these reps that you know they get the whiskey they represent into the channel, get in line, get acknowledged as a rep, blah blah yeah. blah, and then they're gone forever. Right. No, he's up to patron state. He's, no, he's living it. Yeah. Okay. And he sent other stuff too, not just stuff he had his name on. Okay. Cool. And so he is part of the group that helps choose these. Have we not? He's done? one of the guys that makes the choice. This is San Francisco Wine Trader. Okay. This is a Balcones product yes. that was made down the street. Yes. Selected by San Francisco. Nice. Sent to San Francisco. A lot of. Then flown back to Austin. It's a lot of. <laughs> very inefficient. Now, I like their true blue. Their true blue is their cask strength. The true blue cask strength is their blue corn bourbon. Right. Released at cask strength. And this Ooh. is a single barrel pick. Okay. A ring in at 64.6% alcohol. Okay. Ha <laughs> hoo! Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, the True Blue is generally going to be on the sweeter end of the offerings that they have. Uh, or of the just... offerings they have, yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it is. Well. But the True Blue has weight. Their Blue Corn Bourbon. Yeah. I really like that one. The I True think... Blue is a little more punchy. Yeah. Well, all Not of, always, but. I mean, pretty much any Balcones I've had is a really thick, dense body. There's a lot of character in those whiskeys. I think... The one that was probably still a nice amount of body, but it was a very different angle from what I typically expect from Balcones is the lineage. That mm, was a, fruit bomb. Yeah, that was like a tropical fruit thing. Still a lot of body and character, but this feels more like that, you know, familiar Balcones. Man, this weight. is just like roasted Christmas candies. Mm-hmm. Right? Like here's some. Can I say chestnuts, even though I don't know what those are? Chestnuts roasted I do. I really want to say it's roasted chestnuts. I yeah, but I also know, brown I don't know sugar. what they smell like. Yeah, it's what I think roasted chestnuts would smell like. <laughs> I I can see that. Yeah, there it's are... got the corn, the grain, the corn note, right? Yeah. That sort of dusty yeah. direction. So a little, it's like um, if candy corn met molasses, met kind of a charred. Toasted nuttiness. Yeah, it may be more molasses than brown sugar, but it's in the dark sugar category. Yeah. Mmm, smells great. It really does. Oh, wow. Son of a bitch. That unrolls. Yeah. Just, you know what's funny? I have a picture in my head right now. Yeah. Oh. You ever go to Galveston or a place that makes lap taffy? Yeah. And you watch some of those machines go stretch, yeah. and then it just sort of like, and then you, they pick it back up, yeah. and then it just collapses. Wow. That's what happens when I take a sip of this. I take a sip, yeah. and it just sort of like, it's not a normal liquid. Right. It doesn't just flatten in your mouth. Yeah. It goes, ah, it just unrolls. So the experience, because this is a very high proof, 64.6%, mm. almost 65%. But it's not burning. Here, yeah, I was about to say, the experience of that is interesting because... The volume's cranked up that it feels like, you ever listen to a speaker system where it is a thunderous amount of sound? But it's not harsh. Yeah, but it's not harsh or yes. piercing. Yes. A lot of times you'll have a whiskey where the proof is cranked up and you just get like that, that sharp angle, mm -hmm. that bitiness, that hotness. This, you feel the volume. That is a big cacophony of flavor. Uh, but it doesn't ever get to the point where you feel like you're just getting jabbed with a specific angle of the burniness. There's a weird aftertaste of a slightly cherry candy cane. Oh my gosh. I want to know how they get that presentation of the oak. Because it's mm. unlike any other like a wood character. Yeah. Like the, the Kentucky oakiness. Very, very familiar with that. With very all the tannic. Yeah, well, tannic and then also like just that it's like oaky wood. Mm -hmm. But there is more of like a dark sugary molasses, a deeper type of thing that feels like it's more caramelized wood. Yeah. It's yeah, it's much a sweeter charred wood note. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sweeter without getting like granular sugar and more of like mm. toasted caramel caramelization and density. I added a little water to that and mm. actually got a little more aggressive. Mm. I would either leave it at cask you know or I would go a little further. 
think I'm psyching myself out a little bit talking about the lineage from mm -hmm. Alconis with the tropical fruits. I say that and the fruity quality is there's like some tropical fruits in yeah, there. I don't know if I say tropical. I think it would go in the direction of a citrus maybe. Is but a citrus? I'm thinking like a papaya type of deal. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papaya? A little bit of papaya. A little bit of papaya. Okay. Two rounds of water and this sort of softens into an oaky bourbon. Classic oaky bourbon direction. Now, but with all these little chocolatey mm, molasses and accents. And a little thread, a little ding of strawberry. Mm. This is a very complex whiskey. Yeah, it is. This is the kind of whiskey. Well done, yeah. Jason. Occasionally you sit down, you have like a beautiful pour of something, you get a really nice restaurant. And my first thought isn't, wow, that's great. It's, how dare you? Yeah, because I can't eat until that's done. Yeah. <laughs> how dare you? You've kind of set a standard that's not really fair. Yeah. So. Absolutely. I, I, I'm going to go on record and say, like, the Balcona's team, yeah. they're frenemies. Frenemies. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's fair. They're, they're the nicest people, very gracious. They're Make fun, amazing whiskey. They're fun to hang out with, but that's the problem. That's, that's the, the problem. problem. Right? Because they're setting a standard no one else can live what up What the hell, man? <laughs> We're all trying to keep up over here and just make whiskey. Uh, you guys show up and do that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. But damn, I, I don't remember liking the, it reminds me of the true blue that much. It's like you go karaoke with a group of friends. Right. Oh, and, and, and then this one guy gets up there and he just nails this song. Right. And then when he steps off, like everybody at the table is like, you son you of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the person that has to go next is like, cough. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some back, something I don't have to sing. Yeah. <laughs> In the time of the chimpanzees, I yeah, was a monkey. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, CD, 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 6777. Wow! How flat and predictable this review was without Mooch. It was a, what the hell? It was an advent calendar review where I was by myself over here. Yeah. And I, That's not nice. I know. All. But I read that and I thought, you know, I wonder if that would have been my life if I had, if we had not like really tuned into the tribe and you and I doing it together and the yeah. contrasting personalities. Yeah. It would have just been me four years later doing reviews that some dude's like, well, that was flat and predictable. <laughs> and I'm just like burned out, sitting in a corner by myself. Still, I'm like, no, I matter. I'm trying to make something good. No, you, you uh, are obviously very good at reviewing <laughs> and you can feign an interesting personality for short periods of time. That's what internet needs. <laughs> I only need to be able to do 10 to 15 minute increments. Right. YouTube shorts was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> QDog49. Rex has become like Ron Burgundy. Whatever is put in front of him, he will read. read and raise the bottle to. <laughs> Cheers to that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dude, <laughs> is the cash drink, I don't remember this being as, as special as I think it is right now in the glass. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's the cash drink that's making it? Yes. Okay. Dude, if you can, f oh, I keep saying, dude, maybe I don't do this so much. Find the true blue cask strength really easy. Yeah, if you like Balcones, most of their stuff, uh, and you like, you know, you're able to handle cask strength flavors, mm -hmm. I don't think that'll be a disappointment. Yep. But those are two big qualifiers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the fighting, stealing, and drink. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver suck. And if you drink, may you drink with us.